everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven! We are here with our cousin who's extremely excited because we have just reached rank 11. So we're doing very, very well and it appears that Aunt Carol wants us to go visit her in France. So we are going to be leaving Hearthstone Village, our little Montana ranch, and heading over to France to see what Aunt Carol wants over there. So let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Oop, here we go. Oh, look at this! Why is my cousin so wonderful at dressing, like, everywhere we go? Oh, the VIP pack. And this is how they try to get you with the microtransactions, but we're doing quite well on our own. Thank you. Shoot, cuz. We're here in Danville, but Aunt Carol is nowhere to be found. Better poke around. While we're waiting for Aunt Carol to return, maybe we can find some new horse breeds here to nurture. I love how she's like got such a single-minded determination to focus on the amazing horses and clearly Aunt Carol was here for the same determination because look at this it's a new ranch <sighs> hey to celebrate our first tour of France let's plant an apple tree okay <laughs> I am I love the animal and plant focused mentality our cousin has it's adorable all right where's our little apple tree oh it's in the market and we're going to the French market to buy an apple tree. And I'm just gonna casually... Mm -hmm. And there we go. Mm -hmm. And okay. And apple tree. Okay, are we leaving now? We visited France and now we're just like, bye, we planted an apple tree, we're leaving. Okay then, cousin. All right, that's fine. Okay, we just, we just left France, that's fine. Goodbye, apple tree, I'll never know what happened to you. Okay! What was that about, cousin? Jeez, that was the weirdest trip ever. But alright guys, so things that have been going on in Hearthstone Village, I have upgraded most of the fields so that they can now cover, uh, let's see, the oats. So we can now grow oats in a lot of the fields. I've also upgraded one so it can grow soybeans, which is really fun, except I have no idea what we're gonna do with the soybeans. Oh, and our storage is full. Oh my goodness, and look at all of our horses. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna go down the line. Can I upgrade my storage? <gasps> I can! All right, do we have enough coins to do it? We do, we really need to upgrade our storage. We're getting more horses and we need a wider variety of food to feed them. So let's increase the resource capacity to 120. And then can we ask for help from some of our friends? How about you and you and you and you? Yay, that covers it halfway there, that's awesome. All right, and before we go in the stables to take care of our horses, let's go ahead and we're gonna clear out our paddock because our poor rental horse, which is the horse that our cousin has given us for a little bit, is she on our list? She is, so she's gonna be here for another two hours and her name is Holmes and she is so good at racing. We've managed to earn so many coins thanks to her. So we need to keep our fields clean for her sake. All right, there we go. And now let's check the mail real quick. You have, your friend hired you as a stable hand. Here's your reward. Oh, that's so cool. And then we can watch the videos. Other horse farmers have, been, have visited your village and want to be your friend. From Anoon, who I'm just going to call Odin because that seems to be her favorite horse. I wonder how you can let them know what your favorite horse is. I have to say I'm pretty tight with Apollo, but I love Scarlet Apple. And Hero's our first horse. But don't forget Bolt. He's our brand new little baby. And thank you so much to Unknown Michaela, Georgie, and Emily for petting my horses. All right. Ooh, an unknown, unknown. Michaela, Georgie, and Emily also visited the village. And we had a social breeding award. Oh my goodness, does that mean someone used our horses to breed? That's so fascinating. All right, and the steeplechases are going on. So that's happening there. We have unlocked the French ranch. We've claimed over 50,000 coins and gotten the banker achievement. And we have reached 3,000 meters in a steeplechase, and that was actually with our cousin's horse that we're borrowing. So now we need to complete 25 steeplechases, clear out the land area in our Montana ranch. Oh wow, <laughs> complete 100 steeplechases, that's gonna be a lot. Oh my goodness, this will be interesting. All right, well we also have two new feed farms. Oh, what's going on here? Who knows? Oh, a visitor just came to visit your ranch. Would you like to visit back? Isabel and her favorite horse is Queen. Okay, let's go. Let's go visit just real quick. See what happens. 
So we now have another ranch we can take care of. I'm not sure if we'll go over to the French ranch right away. Oh, look at this. Fields. Oh, she's higher level than we are because she's got another field. I love the fields. It doesn't look like I can do any help over here just yet. I think you have to be like friends. Oh, there she goes. She has a quarter horse. What's this one over here? A standard bread. And this one over here. Alia. A, or Elia, Alia, uh, a male Appaloosa with good stamina, how to breed. Oh, and that'll tell us how to get to the breeding. Okay, okay. And it looks like she's doing some construction work on her farm as well. So let's go back to ours. Oh, I hear the, the food. Oh, all right. So let's go ahead and take care of our horses. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're gonna start with our little baby. Whoa, what's this? Do we have a new event? Oh, no event. This is a little chalkboard that you can check on to see if you have any events going on here. All right, so let's come down in here. All right, Bolt, how are you, little guy? Our little Canadian. I'm so excited because from him, I'm hoping we can get Canadian Pacers. We can probably get some of the other breeds as well. Wow, his value is not too bad. Hey buddy, all right, I'll be back in just a bit. He kind of has the, the bigger chest look that his mom does. So how's our little Mustang doing? Hi, Apple. Are you such a beautiful girl? Now I need to double check what kind of traits you gave to your son. Because she has stamina and speed, I th or stamina and jump, excuse me. There you go, Apple, level six. She's worth 700 now. But, what were the traits that you have again, Bolt? You have jump and stamina, which I think... I don't know, I think that stamina and speed might be the most useful in the steeplechases. So we'll have to see. There you go, little guy. Lots of that nice, expensive green feed for you. Oh, but we're, there's the green feed that we were working on. And actually, we can go ahead and we can move the feed area over here. In fact, can I line up three of them? Not quite. So we'll put it right here. And what that does, oops, and storage is full again. Okay, that's fine. What that does is it lets us kind of have this little market area set up because this right here is our market. And we can open it up to see all sorts of horses that are available. And we can also sell horses here, but I don't think we're at the point where we want to sell any of ours just yet. Oh, look, so there's an Appaloosa, another Appaloosa Mustang. So yeah, it looks like in the market you can get your standard types of horses. And then you have to bring them onto your farm and breed them to get the really rare types. All right, let's finish saying hello to everybody. All right, Apollo, how are you doing, buddy? There you go. I know, are you so handsome? Let's give you a little bit more food. There you go, buddy. He's such a good horse. All right, last little bit of grass and hopefully that'll give us more room in our stable or our storage area. All right, oh, he's almost level 10. He'll be level 10 any minute now. All right, and now for you, hero. You really are one of my most handsome horses. You know that? All right, there we go. And he's level 11 now. And some people were saying, that it costs more to keep a level 11 horse. But I'm not sure, I just... Uh, he's he's worth a lot, but I just don't want to sell him just yet. Now we will have to solo horses in the future. We do have to accept that that will come up one day. It's just so hard to think about when they're still like unique and special and we haven't had to breed tons of them to get the very certain like specific breeds yet. All right, Bolt, here you go, buddy. Now, Bolt, as a Canadian, I can breed him to get all sorts of special animals. So let's see. Let's see. Sort by rarity. So which one? If I, if I was going for a certain horse, I think I would want to go for the rarest stamina. And there's a whole bunch of ponies. I wonder if the ponies are what you can have in France. I'm not sure. And was it this one? That one's pretty. Ooh, let's see, Breton. 
Interesting. So these are the horses that are best at stamina. This is a new one. Oh, it's a level one French horse. Okay. So I think, and then there's the Rocky Mountain horse, the Arabian, Bavarian warm blood, and the American warm blood, and the West Philia. Oh, and I can't even look at it. And that's a French market one. So the American warm blood, I can't even look at yet. So it looks like the rarest one we can kind of set our eyes on breeding right now is this one, the Crilio. And I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Which would be a Canadian and a Tennessee walking or a Canadian and American Indian or a Canadian and a Canadian pacer. So let's try to get an American Indian next. And that's going to be a Canadian and an Appaloosa or a Canadian and a standard bred or a Canadian and a Mustang. And we can't exactly breed. <laughs> Our little Canadian against his mom. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit, but I want to get an American Indian. So, hmm. Maybe we'll have to sell Apple? Hmm. We might have to sell Apple, you guys, so that we can make room for another female. And then that way we can try to get the American Indian. Alright, there you go, buddy. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be it. He's gonna start growing up into a very handsome horse now. Was that enough? That was enough! Oh, hi! Look at you! Oh, that's wonderful! There we go, and now he's already ready for racing and breeding. Look at him! He's so pretty! Alright, I'm gonna miss Apple, but I can see the benefit of getting him. Let's get a better look at him in here. Oh, I love his mane. You are gorgeous. You know that? And look at how many more things we can pick from now to decorate with. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, so many saddles. There's so, so many new saddles. Oh my gosh. This will be fun. All right. Well, we're going to go back to the stable. Oh, he's so pretty. And he's ready to be fed again. So, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll have to sell Scarlet Apple <laughs> so that we can get a new Mustang. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, but we did complete a quest. All right, well, we'll think about that in just a minute. So it looks like to get our little Canadian and to breed him up the way we need because it'll be... It'll be way too long. It looks like we will have to think about selling Scarlet Apple and then going into the market... And from the market, it looks like we can upgrade the market too. We might consider doing that. But from the market, we need to get one of the horses that we can breed. Like this Mustang right here, this little female Mustang. So another little, another little Mustang. Her name's Hydra, but she's good at stamina and she's good at jumping, I believe. Yeah, stamina and jumping. And that is what would help us out to breed against Bolt to get the American Indian so that we can get the, uh, I think, yeah, just down the whole line. So we're gonna have to be prepared for those kinds of things, guys. And it means that we're gonna have to start figuring out ways to make room. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm a little nervous about that. All right, but there is one last thing I wanna check on before we go today, and that's actually this interesting little safari. So let's check out this stallion safari. What a wonderful stallion. I'm kind of jealous. And we can actually, we sent this guy out. We paid him for a safari and he went out and has found us a male Canadian. And it looks like it's good at stamina. He's got a lot of speed to him, but we already have a beautiful male Canadian. So I think it's okay if we go ahead and sell this guy. So we had a loss of about 200 coins because we paid this guy about a thousand coins to go out on a stallion safari and bring us back a wild horse, but it should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and sell him. Sorry, little guy. And then finally, we ran three steeplechases, harvested green label feed, owned three feed mills in Montana, grew an apple tree in France, cleaned out the paddock twice, and we've nurtured another horse to level five. So we're doing really well. Oh, and now we can own a level three farm center in Montana. And we do have to sell, look at this, sell one horse. Ah, 
Ah, this is so hard. I love Scarlet Apple, but I can see where they're making points about the fact that you, if you want to do the breeding part, you have to be willing to sell some of them. Here's a Mirin's. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's see. And the Missouri Fox Trotter. Ah, the Canadian Pacers and Mustangs. And if I want the American Indian. Yeah, I need a Mustang I can breed them against. And if I want the American Paint, which I do have a soft spot for, then I need, let's see, the Anderson. How do you get this guy? A Quarter and a Tennessee Walking or a Missouri Foxtrotter. I actually think that we're working on getting a Missouri Foxtrotter, aren't we? By getting the uh, Canadian Pacer. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? There's so many things going on and so many things we need to do. So I think, unfortunately, it's gonna be time to sell a horse. <laughs> Scarlet Apple! What am I gonna do? We're horse breeders. Hmm, let's take a good look at her. She's been such a good horse, too. Yeah, what am I gonna do, Scarlet Apple? I can't keep all of you. What a tricky situation to be in. All right, well, we're gonna give her a little bit more time with us. I'll let her walk around the paddock, just kind of have a nice day. Oh, can I get a nice picture with her? Oh, that's what this means. Be able to take a nice picture with her in here, I see. Well, we will go ahead and let her rest for a little bit, but we're just gonna have to accept if we want to get those other guys, we can't have a bazillion and a half stables, so we will have to go ahead and start selling horses. And that's gonna be really hard, but it's part of part of what we're doing in the long run. So I'll see you guys next time when we will have sold Scarlet Apple and we will bring in a new little Mustang that we can breed our, our wonderful Canadian up against and see what kind of babies they have and of course if we do that you know what I think I'm gonna <laughs> well if they do that then we need to be able to open up another stable so oh boy hero things are looking pretty tense things are looking pretty tense all right guys I'll see you guys next time bye bye